86. It's a term we've been using for the better part of a century. And no matter what the mafia says, it's more popular in the food and beverage industry to mean that we've run out of something. But where did it start? Well, in fact, there are numerous theories on the origin of the term 86. One very likely possibility is dated back before the 1950s, when different US Navy warship parts had to be replaced or upgraded. The code used to designate that something had to be gotten rid of was Allowance Type 6, or AT6. This could have easily transformed phonetically into 86 in later years. Another popular theory originates from a bar called Chumley's during the Prohibition era, whose address was 86 Bedford Street. According to Jeff Klein's book, The History and Stories of the Best Bars of New York, authorities would call to warn the bartender when a police raid would take place, telling them to 86 their customers, using the bar's address as code. Around the same time, during the Great Depression, soup kitchens used standard pots that held 85 cups of soup, just enough to serve 85 people. If you were the 86th person in line, the soup kitchen was out of soup, and you had to go home soupless. 86 is in our name, except our goal is to make sure you never run out of anything, soup included. Check out our website to learn more about Nix86. These are just a few theories, and there are so many others out there. Do you agree with any of these, or do you have theories of your own? Sound off in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions for our next video, give us a shout at info at nix86.com.